everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to do a review on the Etude House Play Color Eyes and this is the edition Bake House. I know some of you guys have been waiting for this since I last did my Maple Road Play Color Eyes palette and I wanted to do this one first um, before actually doing this. And so I already have this Bake House for a, quite a while now and have been playing around it for a while now as well and I do have it on my eyes as well and I will be showing you guys like a makeup look as um that I did and also like comparisons of all my other play color eye palettes that I owned as well so you guys can see the similarities. Now regards of this colors basically this I have 10 colors inside and it just basically features all the freshly baked Bread that you can find in a bakery which means that all of the colors are all obviously brown tone brown base I mean not sure why the white one is there let's talk about the cons for this first before talking about the pros because I just feel like I want to get it out of the way with the cons and for me personally I don't like this in general just because of the color shades i just feel like you know the colors here are very limited there's only so much you can play with you know the type of eyeshadow look that you want to create like this particular eyeshadow look right here this is the darkest i can go from this palette now my skin is like light to medium skin so can you imagine how this would be like for dark skin or medium skin because if this was is the darkest on me, I can't imagine how it's like for medium to dark skin. That's how I feel personally and I mean with the formula and you know the texture, it's honestly amazing. It's beautiful, it's pigmented. Like I swear the more play color eyes palette that E2 House has released, they have just upped their game with the texture and the pigmentation. Like definitely that's my pro right there. But my only con is just the color ranges. But again, they have already clearly stated that this is based on you know big house or bakery braid type of color so you only you get this type of brown i think if they were to have like a darker brown compared to this one right here which is number nine i think i would actually love it more and i'm really sorry my phone is just buzzing let's talk about the pros and the pros obviously the packaging is very pretty it's very cute it has all this different type of braid there packaging is very nice and obviously i love that they provide such a big mirror as always and again there's you know a huge selection of colors and one thing i've heard about this particular bake house is that they have improved the texture for their shimmer and glitter, especially the glitter. And let me tell you guys, guys, like, guys, guys, but the glitter, like, it just slides on so easily, it just slides on like butter, and it's just so pigmented and so shiny, it's just... It's beautiful. Like, I honestly love number one and number five. It's just so reflective, it's just... I really like it a lot like I swear if I can put it on my entire lid I actually would and I have tried it before obviously it didn't turn out well because you know gotta blend it out well and you know darken it up now in regards of you know um, whether it is similar or not I, again I did say that I have done a comparison for you guys which I'll show you guys really soon but there are three shades in this palette that I couldn't really find any similarity and it is number one which is this frosty white beige color here like a gold tone under base this is very unique and obviously because it is a new formula new texture it's a it's just beautiful so definitely a very unique color number number two is actually a very light tone um, beige base color I guess it's nice for like um, just as like a base for your lid I couldn't really find much similarity to it as well and there's also one more color that I couldn't find similarity to which is number five again and this is another glitter shade now this one is like a beautiful gold brown shape and I just couldn't find any similarities but every other colors I could sort of find a little bit of similarity to it before I jump straight into the comparison I just want to quickly tell you guys how many different type of texture they have I'm gonna look down at my book so there's two glitters five matte two shimmer and one matte shimmer so the matte shimmer is actually the last one here which is a mixture obviously a matte 
color but also a little bit of shimmer to it another thing i like about this palette i noticed they do have one very special um finish or like texture to it but they call it like a um shimmer and it's actually number nine here now this one when you apply it with your eyeshadow it feels like patting your eyeshadow brush onto like a cream texture and even on my finger it feels like a cream texture which I believe it is but I'm not sure why they say it's like a shimmer shade I would call it like a cream cream texture but again I really like this because that means it just gives a very nice smooth finish on the eyes like this is actually great that color is actually great as like a base if you forget your primer because it will just make the rest of your eyeshadow very tacky and pigmented on top but again using it as itself like I just did it actually stay on really nicely as well even applying with the eyeliner so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you guys the comparisons and then we're gonna jump straight into a makeup look The first shade I'm gonna use is number 7 which is called Beach Coconut and this one for me is like a matte brown shade for me personally and it's a good transition shade in between the crease line and it's a nice medium brown for me compared to the other brown. Next we're going to use the last color in this palette and it's called Almond Croissant number 10 and it has a little bit of glitter to it and shine but also it is a matte shimmer finish which is I thought was really unique and then I'm gonna deepen up my crease line again more but again using an orange base undertone shade and this is called pine cone so it's like a red brown shade and i'm just using like another blending brush but much more flatter to put it into my creases to make it more defined next i'm using one of my favorite color and this is is number nine called salty brownie so it's a beautiful shimmery brown and I've said be before um, during my review is that this is such a beautiful creamy frosty finish it's so beautiful glides on so easily and then what I'm gonna do is I will just use the leftover to apply on my lower lash line and oh my god I just love this shade so much because it's so pigmented and just like I said glide on real easily have I said that but yeah and then just blending everything out with the lightest brown shade in this palette called milk latte just to remove any harsh line and then dipping into sugar rust which is the white gold glitter in the first shade and just using my pinky to apply on the inner part of my eyes and I'm really sorry that is really blurry guys but yeah, they know it's our focus. But yeah, this is the makeup look and I love this eye look so much. I hope you guys enjoy my comparison and my makeup look and I hope you guys understand more why I decided to do the maple road first before actually doing this and the reason for that is if I would have to choose one or the other I would definitely choose the maple road just because I felt like the colors is much more unique and it's just I don't know I feel like I can play more with this but again I have tried you know using this both at the same time and you know it gives me really nice colors as well but if you would want to pick one to try I would definitely you know recommend the maple road but if you have really fair skin tone like fairer than me maybe give the big house a try because then you can play with all the neutral nice brown shades in the palette so i hope you guys found this um, video helpful but if there's any other questions put it down in the comment box below and don't forget to check out my maple road collection video as well and i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys